H-O-F-N-E-G style, bang, bang, Henny, Mad Mike, coming back to you from the limo, still uh, doing my thing, fixing it and whatever, <laughs> look at this, I made a little oven, I have some leftover pizza, somebody brought me, and uh, I'm gonna, I made a little oven out of tinfoil for the heater, <laughs> oh boy. I hope everybody's well, man. This coronavirus is freaking me out. I had a nice talk with a couple of people today. My ex, you know, Damien's mom, we talked about, uh, you know, what's going on in life and all that good stuff. I had a good conversation. And Gregoire last night, man, <laughs> that was awesome, man. I haven't had a quarter pounder with cheese and order fries in a very long time. But needless to say, I've been up all night. Worrying about this, worrying about that. Worrying about my children, mostly. You know, worrying about all this stuff. And, uh, just want to let you all know. I got a couple little rumors that got back to me. For instance, when I got in, first of all, that motorcycle accident, people said that, you know, I was, uh, drunk driving and under the influence. No, I wasn't. Not one bit. Not at all. And they tested every second, man. You know, I was on a ventilator for for like six weeks, man. I was in a coma. So they tested every little thing. I'm not a drug addict and I'm not a, a I'm not an alcoholic and I don't drink. So this shows to you, you know, I wasn't drinking and driving and all that bullshit. I'm not saying I haven't, you know, in the past four years, five years, but you know what? So what? I'm through all these death experiences, you know, if I want to have a beer or whatever, go ahead, man. You know, I don't abuse them. That part of my brain right here, somebody mentioned they saw like a little spot, but you can see it right now. I'm doing a, a FaceTime thing trying to get people aboard to help me out a little bit because I'm really running some rough times, I mean. Barely enough to eat. If it wasn't for a couple of people, I would have been dead a long time ago. And uh, they know who they are, you know. I mean, I need to shave. I look like an old bastard. I'm a young... Get out of that garbage. I mean, I got to clean this whole thing out today. Look for some bolts for the hood and all that. But uh, please, this is word on the streets with Bang Bang Henny. Please be careful, man. They say the heat and the UV lights from the sun kills the stuff coronavirus once it starts getting warmer actually they said the humidity too but i mean they keep on saying this and saying that i'm just giving everybody a warning look look me dead into my eyes the second wave is going to be worse i know it is i've seen it this is a movie to me right now it just so happens that when I was in that coma from a motorcycle accident, I had some weird, vivid dreams. And exactly the way it's going down today. I asked a few friends about my predictions and my intuitions about this whole coronavirus. Uh, not just coronavirus. I, you know, I, I just had all these thoughts and I seen this. I seen this happen in my dreams like it was yesterday. About five or six people, maybe even more, told me, Mike, you said it word for word the way it's going down. So I see a really bad problem in the second wave, and it's not going to stop after that, second, third, and fourth. So, you know, if you're not feeling good or whatever, go to the doctors, get tested, you know. And I wish I could help somebody in uh, the doctor's field, you know. I really do. I mean, I would be an experimental guy, you know, um, to save, you know, more lives. I would do it. I would in a heartbeat. And, uh, you know, I just want to say this one thing. Everybody be careful. Take care of your kids, first of all. You know, who cares about this school thing when it opens up and all that? You know, if you don't feel safe about all this, don't do it. Who's first? Who comes first? Your kids. Who comes last? You. So, think about that. Word on the street with Bang Bang Henny. And I hope everybody has a wonderful day. And please subscribe to my channel. Hit the like button. 
and share it. Share it because it's real stuff. What I talk about is real and it's all honesty from my heart. Who's your brother's keeper? Yes, I am. Who's your brother's keeper? Yes, we are, Daddy. I know. I love you. All right. I put a smile on my face. Everybody have a great day. And I'm not no meth cook either. That was another thing that came to my attention. It was bad enough when I was in a coma. Somebody was sucking on my IV drip, getting high off of it. And I know who did it. I really do. And I'll tell you what. That's some awful stuff, man. Awful. That's like devil, devil stuff, man. It's crazy. You know, I can't believe you do something like that to me. And that other dipshit, my tenant, not paying me rent, robbing me of $4,000 from a van. Rob Kerrigan, robbing me and, you know, holes in my walls. I got out, never paid me rent. Rob, he said he was going to do jobs, never did jobs, you know. That's the kind of people I used to associate myself with. Now I associate myself with other YouTubers and other people via social media or whatever. And it just, it's the way it is, man. Like I said, I'm coming out of my shell now. Everybody's going in their shell. And it's a shock. You know, so everybody have a good week. Thank you for listening to my BS. Bye-bye.